TV Ghana, Japan Motors Corporate Run. We intend to keep this event very brief and simple, and so we will try as much as possible to stick to the running order and not add too much to drag the event. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce the gentlemen and ladies seated at the high table. At the high table, we have the Executive Director, Silver Star Tower, and Events Director of Corporate Run, as well as our host, Mr. Salah Kalmoni. <laughs> to his immediate right, we have Programs Manager, ETV Ghana, Mrs. Nosisa Do. And to the immediate right of Mrs. Do, we have the sales manager, Yamaha of Japan Motors, Mrs. Mabel Ofe. <laughs> My name is Raymond Yamado. I'm your MC for this morning's event. And we would like to get to know everybody seated here. And so I'll pass the microphone around for everybody to introduce him or herself. Thank you. My name is Elike Mameni, the marketing assistant of Japan Motors. My name is Park Forsen, Global Media Alliance. My name is Kadeta Lade from The Finder. My name is Maria Doa from Quesa TV. I'm Yusuke Odam from Ghana News Agency. Isaac Intiamwa, event organizer, Rangana. Ibni Zakwa with the events team, Rangana. Bernard Hayford, sales team, uh, ETV. Joseph Papo, ETV Ghana, Shkedla. And I was on ETV. Joyce Amaka, ETV, social media manager. Frederick Kissy, Marina Park manager. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Salakalmoni, we have a host of journalists here who are ready to cover this media launch. And these are your guests, Mr. Kalmoni. Well, we, we would start off this event from the welcome address. And to give us a welcome address, I'd like to call on Mrs. Nosisa Do, Programs Manager, ETV Ghana, to give us the welcome address. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press. Um, Mr. Kaumoni and our rep from Japan Motors, all protocols are observed. We'd like to welcome you to this very special occasion for Global Media Alliance and the Silver Star Towers and Japan Motors. This event was started in nine years ago with the purpose, with the sole purpose of uh, ensuring that uh, people who work in a corporate world socialize, get together, network, and also exercise. So the run is actually five kilometers long and it starts from this very facility and ends here at the Silver Star Towers. Another reason why the run was um, organized was for a CSR initiative. Proceeds from the registration monies are donated to the Ghana Blind Union every single year. Last year, we donated a few items to them, and they were pleased to see us there, and we want to continue supporting um, that initiative. Now, on the 21st of September, which is a Kwame Nkrumah, it's now known as the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Day. We expect to see um, all of you here present in your numbers and also to, after the launch to encourage people to register. The details will be shared by the event host. In addition to that, I just wanted to say to all of us that we have just been recognized by the Ghana Event Award organizers as for CSR Event of the Year. So we look forward to seeing uh, the votes coming through. I want to use this opportunity to give everybody the hashtag, which is star 713, star 714 hash, to get this event nominate, recognized after the nomination for what we do. We just don't come and exercise and socialize and network, but we also donate to the Ghana Blind Union, as I mentioned earlier. I also want to th take this opportunity to thank all the people who have partnered, partnered us over the years. Um, that is the Star Properties, I'll mention them one by one, Star Properties, Yamaha Japan Motors, 
Branch Fitness, they are the team that come through in the morning and take us through the exercises on the day of the event. Um, Lakeside Estate, Advanced Constructions, Oman for Four, Silverbed Cinemas, Blue Skies, Stanvik has come on board, and um, Global Media Alliance and its subsidiaries, that's Happy FM, ETV Ghana, and YFM. And also, we want to take this opportunity to thank all the media houses that have been standing with us, supporting us, and you know, amplifying what we are seeking to achieve, which is to promote uh, good he well-being, health, and to network. Um, I think that is all I'll say for now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Do. At this point, we would like to invite Mr. Salah Kaumoni, Event Director of Corporate Run, to give us the modalities for the 2019 Corporate Run. Thank you very much, Raymond. It's good to be back here. As we see, today is our ninth year, and I'm very happy to do this. It's an annual event, and people always ask me, when is this event? It's September 21st, Kwame Krumah's birthday. Or oh, as uh, Nasisa said, it's Kwame Krumah's uh, Memorial Day. And uh, this event is uh, both walk and run, even though we call it the corporate run, have the people uh, walk. And uh, the reason we want to do this, we, want, uh, we have three purposes. Number one is for health. We are walking and running for health. Number two, we are doing this so that we do business networking in a very fun way, unusual way. And number three, for corporate social responsibility. To elaborate more on our corporate social responsibility, we, we have decided that uh, we will do contribution. We started with five CDs to the Ghana Blind Union and hopefully they will join us later on. Uh, so this year we have decided to increase from five CDs to seven CDs per register. Thank you very much. I need to cue you for that one. All right. Uh, as we said, this is our ninth anniversary, and we are now the second uh, oldest consistent run in, in Ghana. That's another achievement. And, ten year, and next year is going to be our 10th anniversary, so we'll keep a surprise. So don't ask me what I'm going to do next year. You can ask me what we are doing this year. Uh, we hope to register 500 uh, registrations. After 500, we will run out. So there's a cap on this thing for safety and security. And in terms of uh, the, the walk and the run, we're going to exercise at the parking lot of uh, Silver Star Tower. Then we go, we exit, and we take our right. Uh, then at the Liberation Road, we're going to stay always on the inside. We're going to take our left. And all the run is actually on the inside. So from there on, it's all left. So we go to 37, we take our left. We go to Elwax uh, Stadium Junction, we take our left. We run past the uh, airport city, the Manette Towers, all the way to um, the airport runabout. We take another left. We go to airport traffic light, we take our left, then we come across uh, from here at this junction, the Silver Star Tower Junction. People, they want to call it Opivia House Junction. I don't believe so. A Silver Star Junction, then you come to the left, and then we enter through, uh, through, and that's the finishing line. So that's the track. And then um, in terms of the, uh, we going, uh, before we do the walk and the run, we need to have, uh, Warm, warm up. After the run, we have warm down, and then uh, we're going to have the free breakfast, and then we're going to have the paid VIP breakfast for 50 Ghana CD extra. And during this time, before the run and after the run, our uh, sponsors they will have exhibitions. So if you're not a sponsor, please uh, you can see who should they see to become a sponsor. Uh, okay, we'll identify two people here. You have to see them so that you. We register you as much as possible to become a sponsor. And then uh, in terms of registration, we will have a table here at the security room, uh, at the security entrance where you can register. Uh, and the registration fees are 30 CDs promotion now up to August 1st. After August 1st, it becomes 35 CDs. And then the corporate team is, uh, fifth, uh, the corporate team is 300 CDs for five uh, people. Um, and we want you to fill the form as accurately as possible because if you do not uh, fill the form accurately, the computer will assume you are, you, are, you are a man of 25 years old. 
Okay, so, but I'll give you more information about how the results and categories. Thank you very much. I'd like to invite Mrs. Mabel Ofe of Yamaha Japan Motors to also give us her speech. Uh, Japan Motors, uh, sole distributors of Nissan vehicles, uh, Yamaha motorcycles, and Photon. It's happy to be part of this year's uh, corporate run. We are, as, as we always do, we are giving, as part of our package, we are giving out a free Yamaha motorcycle. That is a Yamaha Crux. Its quality is durable and extremely reliable. And again, we are giving a generator, the ET1 compatible generator, which is it's very durable and quality as well. We are happy to be part of this uh, event and we urge other corporate bodies to come on board as this uh, event gives access to bigger uh, target markets. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a great asset and I urge most uh, corporate bodies to come on board for a better result. Come, let's run, let's have fun, let's network and let's be one body. Thank you. Thank you very much. And before we continue, Mr. Kalmoni has given us the modalities for this year's race. It will start here at the Silver Star Tower through the Liberation Road. Then we make a turn just before Elwak Sports Stadium, the traffic light there. Then we run from airport city and then we finish the race right here. What's going to happen this time is that we have a cap on the number of people who can participate in this competition. Your hand. So uh, during the run halfway through, we will give you one of these uh, armbands. This is to check that people are going through all the line. They are not doing any shortcut. So at the beginning, you will receive one ribbon. And then also somewhere we give you another uh, ribbon. So there are two ribbons and one armband to prevent people from cheating. Because this run has become very famous. And there are too, too many different types of uh, cheating as well. Now if you turn around, so we always like to put rungana.com at the back. So if you have your own corporate shirt, you can, you can brand the backside with the Rangana. Thank you very much. Asking all companies to come on board to sponsor, not just to um, advertise their services or their products, but also because of the CSR initiative. So um, His Excellency Ambassador Boateng, Ambas Ghana's ambassador to China, is donating 2,000 CDs and a Huawei phone to the fastest runner. So we are excited about that. So you can step forward as an individual to, to, to give something to the competition or to any of the, uh, the winners. It's an opportunity for you. And also, um, as we did last year, the event will be televised live. Um, I think a lot of sponsors got a lot of mileage for, from, for, for the event being live. So we're going to do the same um, this year. Welcome to uh, the, the Raps from Ghana. Uh, yes, uh, we are happy to do contribution for the Ghana Blind Union. As we said, we are doing seven CDs per register instead of five CDs. Uh, we also want to acknowledge another sponsor, uh, Oman Fofo. Oh, man, for four, uh, if you are a sponsor, there's not only the cash you can pay, you can also give us some prices. And Oh, man, for four are giving us two Canon printers as well. So without any ado, uh, I, we hereby declare that the 2019 corporate run duly launched. Thank you very much, Mr. Salah Kamoni, Mrs. Nosi Sadu, and Mrs. Mabel Ofe. Before we go into the question and answer segment, I think that it would be fair to give the Ghana Blind Union the chance to speak to us because we know seven CDs from every registration form will be donated to the Ghana Blind Union. So if the rep of the Ghana Blind Union can join me up here and give his speech. Mark, I'm a project coordinator in charge of inclusion with the Ghana Blind Union. And I must thank you and Japan Motors for the opportunity given us to participate in today's lunch and also participate in all the activities of the Japan Motors. The Ghana Blind Union is a body known to be advocating the total inclusion of blind and partially sighted persons and the Japan Motors has been very supportive to the union in ensuring that blind persons 
in Ghana are healthy and also as part of their social inclusion policy have included members of the Ghana Blind Union in the corporate run for more than five good years now. And I think it's appropriate to give them an applause. Yes. Aside, they occasionally donate to the union to ensure the well-being of its members. So we've received a couple of items, including white canes. And when we talk of the white cane, what I'm holding is one of the white canes that we've received from the um, Japan Motors as a result of the corporate plan. We've received um, t-shirts among other sporting equipment that will enhance our sporting activities and also promote inclusiveness. When we talk of inclusion, we are not looking for monetary support. Yes, it's good when you bring it. It will help us. But we are also looking at the opportunity you will give us to also participate in societal activities like these ones. So on behalf of the executive director and the management of the Ghana Blind Union, I do hereby say that we acknowledge your hand that you've extended to us. And we've always been gender equal. So in all the rounds, we have male and female participation. Thank you very much. And I wish you well, or we wish ourselves well in the 2019 corporate run. I will also add my voice to what um, was said that, yes, let's all invest in a, in a wealthy cause like this because it will go a long way to promote inclusion and also inclusive development. Thank you. Thank you very much. One of our own members of uh, our staff, Paula Nomakodie, who just won uh, EMY, Men of Courage Award 2019, uh, is visually impaired and he's been uh, with us for over nine years broadcasting and living his uh, best life really. Paul has been taking part in this run for the last five years or so so I'm sure you will see him on that day as well he could not be with us today he's a bit under the weather but uh, last year he spoke at length during the launch and I'm sure some of you were wondering where is Paul he's still with us at ETV um, but he's a bit under the weather, but he'll be with us at the corporate run. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mrs. Sisko. It's time for questions. We would like to invite questions from the media. Everybody seated here who is not clear about the modalities that have been put out. Thank you so much. Um, also, I want to know the registration points. If I, will, if I want to register where I have to go. You can register at uh, Japan Motors Graphic Road. You can register at uh, Asalam Down, Happy FM ATV. you find the forms there. You can register at uh, YFM, at uh, Accra Mall. You can register right here at Silver Star Towers as well. Thank you very much. All right. Um, I realize music plays a major role when it comes to events like this. It can motivate people to run more. The, in previous years, I've realized it's just here. We only get the music being played here. But the difference will be when it's set up on various points as you run. If it's too much, I think we could have a vehicle that moves around with us. Just so that people will be motivated enough to move around. And then people also get to know that things are happening around. They don't come around. Thank you. Thank you very much for your suggestion. It's not a question, and I like it. I think uh, we have a water station point at the Aviation Social Center. It's a big place, so maybe we can either play music there or we can put a band. So if no a, a band who wants to volunteer, we can do that. Otherwise, maybe we can use this machine and put uh, Mr. Isaac some, some music in the background uh, inside it because it's portable. But I like, I like your suggestion, and I think we'll take it up for this run and the other subsequent run. So more, more questions for him. Thank you very much. Who has a question? Or suggestion. Or suggestion. Thank you very much. Um, please, I want to find out if there will be... Yes, I want to find out if there will be... I'm Hilda, Ghana News Agency. If there's going to be a health service... Um,
care provided or an ambulance service, you know, since it involves an exercise. Okay. So do you mean screen screenings or ambulance? Yes, there's an ambulance that actually goes with the runners. It's always there and it will be located here even after the run. So there's always someone to, if there's any issue, there'll be help right there. Yeah. Uh, on the form, it says that you need to seek medical advice if you're not fit. Especially if you're not a runner, we want people to walk. You walk slowly. There's always risk, but uh, we are mitigating the risk by having uh, an ambulance and uh, two paramedics. One paramedic will be stationed at the finishing line and another paramedic will be in the ambulance. And our security who are at all the points, they will have the number for that ambulance. But as usual, we want people to be healthy. And uh, if they haven't exercised, they should see the doctor for medical advice and then train themselves to build, uh, to, to build it up. Uh, also, sometimes we do get some sponsors who do, pre, uh, who do uh, blood pressure and other screening. But I don't think this year we have it yet, but there's still about two months left for this to happen. Thank you. All the complaint form. So Zuta, uh, raise your hand. Zuta is the event uh, manager. Uh, so we have complaint form. So after the run, you can, fill, uh, you can fill it. Now, certain awards for the corporate run, we will give the motorcycle or the generator or whatever, but we will keep it for one week for post uh, what we call it, uh, post audit, uh, post audit. So we have this, after the run, we have done disqualifications. And uh, I'll mention like sometime the, the, the people who were put as employees, they are actually not payroll employees. They are hired uh, professional Olympians. <laughs> So the Olympians, you can win awards as the fastest three men, fastest three women, but you cannot win awards as corporate. Okay, so people who are from Kumasi Olympic team and Accra Olympic teams and all these teams, no problem, you will receive some awards. Okay, you'll get the medallion, there's no cash prize. People, if you want cash prize, go for international things. This is for fun, this is for corporate. The bragging rights is in the awards and in the trophies. And, uh, and the gifts, uh, and the gifts, but the gifts are nominal, all right? Thank you very much. Any more questions, please? Good morning. My name is Grace Dodu. I'm from GMA, Global Media Alliance. My question is, from what you are saying, there are some rules and guidelines. So if I want to participate, how do I get access to these things before the day or on the day? Yes, uh, these rules and regulations are actually on the application form. At the back of the application forms, there are rules, and these rules have been updated for 2019. Because each year we see different types of cheating, so we have to also catch up to these rules. And you can also, if you go to our website, they are also uh, on our website, and uh, we also on Facebook, Twitter, and all these things. So when you go on these things, so you see the application form here, and at the back side, uh, all the rules and regulations which are written, written, written for us. And this is also the application for uh, the corporate run. So we want all the uh, individuals. We, we made it uh, better this year. In the old days, you need to do individual forms and the other form. But now everybody will sign this form. And it says here, we, the company, certify the above as payroll employees or national service personnel. So contact workers are not allowed, the temporary workers are not allowed. Uh, the employees must be on payroll, and, uh, or they have to have a national service personnel contract as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Kamwani. Any more questions? Okay, well, uh, Mr. Kamoni, am I permitted to wear my journalistic hat yes. and ask a few questions? Sure. Oh, okay. Thank you. My name is Raymond Yamado, ETV Ghana. I would like to find out, uh, in the last couple of years, the computation of the results has been a bit problematic. So we end up staying for long. We end up seeing lots of participants leaving. This year, what measures have you put in place to compile the results quickly? 
Yes, one of the most important compilation is that we want to close registration two days before the event so that we have enough time. The other thing we have done, now we have two, two prices, either 30 CDs or 35. So the earlier people register, the easier for us to, uh, to put it. And also for the award categories, we have, uh, let's say, about a 10-day cutoff point for the um, both corporate rounds so that we can do the vetting before the event comes. So these are some of the things. The other thing, we have two computers running at the same time just in case if something happens. We have our cameras. So we, uh, we are cleaning up our process to make it more efficient uh, and, and so that it is faster. Thank you very much. My second question. In the last few editions, we've seen the winners of the team of the competition, not necessarily be the corporate bodies participating that we all know. They seem to be very strange corporate bodies winning it. This year, what measures are you putting in place to make sure that most of the corporate bodies that are well known are those that end up with the team of the year? Because most of the time we see professional Olympians winning it for the, the teams that we see. Uh, I think you're referring to the company from Kumasi who hired some Kumasi athletic people. Anyway, they, they were disqualified eventually. So that, that's why I said that if you are a corporate team, you must submit before or by September 1st. Uh, from September 1st to September 21st, we will vet. We will go to the uh, HR manager, we'll show them the list, and have, uh, have them certify that these are actually employees. And then, uh, obviously, uh, the records is around, uh, I think, 15, 16 minutes. So if you are an employee and you're running at 15, 16 minutes, you're put in doubt. <laughs> okay, yeah. it means you're an athlete. You cannot be running at 15, 16, 17 minutes uh, for people like that. I know for myself, I usually run 25, 26 minutes. So we, we do some cross-referencing to, to make sure that the statistics make sense. And uh, since we are mentioning here that those who are cheating, we will have them disqualified. And we have done it in the past and will continue to do, to do this. As I said, those who are athletes, they are welcome to join us. And they can win the top uh, three men and the top three women award. Thank you. Thank you very much. Final question. Um, the corporate team of the year, what is the criteria for picking the team that emerges as the winner? of the corporate team of the year because there has been a, a lot of confusion over the years. So people say, I came first, but I'm not, I haven't been awarded corporate team of the year. What is the criteria for selecting the top five team? Uh, there, there are three awards for the corporate team, the first, second, and third. But each corporate team is made from, uh, from five. So the corporate team is as fast as the slowest runner. I'll say this, the corporate team is as fast as the slowest runner. So if you have four people running at 20 minutes and one person running at 30 minutes, we'll use the 30 minutes as this. So we encourage uh, the company here who are going to run that they, they start practicing. So I know Silver Star Tower, we have been practicing now for the last six months. Because as they say in business, you play to win, you don't play to lose. Okay, so be encouraged, uh, you, and you can come to Silver Star Tower and run on Saturday. So every Saturday at 6 a.m., 6.15, you'll see us running around the track. So you are all welcome to come and practice the track. And you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Okay, no cheating, practice. Thank you very much, Mr. Salakamoni. And this is the official launch of the 2019 ETV Ghana, Japan Motors Corporate Run, and we'd like to acknowledge some of our sponsors for this year's event. Global Media Alliance is an integrated media and entertainment company, and it's one of the leading PR consultancies in the country with over 20 years experience in diverse segments in the PR industry. And also ETV Ghana, the world of quality entertainment, is a station known for headline shows like The Team. It's Ghana's number one sports debate show. It ha it's always on TV from 12 to 1 p.m. And also, late night celebrity show, which shows on Wednesdays, Mondays, and Fridays, with Foster Romanus as the host. And also, live chat with Paul. And Paul was spoken about by Mrs. Joe earlier. 
is one of the finest programs on ETV and Men's Lounge as well as Women's Voices are the shows you can watch on ETV Ghana. Happy FM is Ghana's number one sports station. For all the updates on the ongoing Africa Cup of Nations, you can listen to Anopabusu Sports from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. every day from Monday to Friday. And also there's the number one current affairs show, Epahua Daben, which starts from 1 p.m. and ends at 5 p.m also on happy fm and also we have yfm ghana's number one urban radio station operating across three triangles in accra kumasi and takrade it's one of the finest radio stations you can listen to and also global cinemas if you want the latest movies you can go to global cinemas and watch any of them at the state of the art cinema complex at the wager um the wager old barrier junction yes that's where global cinemas can be located and also japan motors dealers in nissan cars photon tracks in ghana your most reliable source of genuine nissan parts as well silver star tower limited has for over 12 you know blue skies you can talk about the fresh juice and they provide us with quality fresh juice from fresh from the market or fresh from the farm and anytime you want you think of juice you can think of blue skies. And so let me acknowledge some of the other sponsors. Lakeside Estate, Omanfo for Seconds, Alliance Insurance, Yamaha, Brandt Health and Fitness, um, Silver Star Tower. And this event is proudly powered by ETV Ghana and Japan Motors. At this point, I would like to ask Mr. Salah Kalmoni to give us a closing remarks, after which we can have our interview sessions and then we have some refreshment. Okay, we want to thank all the participants today, especially the journalists, uh, for coming here. I hope we've given you a lot of information, uh, so we hope to see it over uh, tomorrow, some of you, maybe tonight, tomorrow, and over the next uh, week. And we appreciate you coming, and uh, more important, we want you to participate, uh, as we said, and enjoy, uh, enjoy the refreshments afterwards. Thank you very much.